Yo, what's good, YouTube? Sam Crow here, aka Scoop, back with the UPC uh, Majors Season Six, Week Number Three, and we're taking on the Kansas, uh, the Kansas, the um, Kentucky Fried Torchic. I don't know how I got that mixed up with Kansas. Um, probably because I live, like I'm from Kentucky, and uh, my mom lives back and forth between uh, Kansas and Kentucky. Um, anyways, actually, it's Kansas City. Which isn't even in Kansas; it's in Missouri. So <laughs> that's a uh, that's kind of noteworthy, in my opinion. So we got a. Uh, I, I don't know if I should continuously go over my team every time. Um, anyways, we're playing against the Kentucky Fried Torchic, coached by Falcon. He has a phenomenal team. Um, Z Captain Celestilla, Z Captain Necrozma, Mega Altaria, Milotic, Jolteon, Serena, Embor, Sneasel, Yan Mega. Uh, Drampa and the Sand Slash, so pretty pretty solid squad there. Um, has hazards, hazard uh, removal, some breakers, some defensive backbone, lots of really really solid synergy. This is actually one of the scariest teams I've uh, I prepped against in uh, recent memory. Um, Celestella Altaria is a pretty cool core. Um, Fairy Dragon Steel in just two months, um, and then he's got the you know the Firewater Grass core, which has an offensive. Uh, a really fat offensive fire type, which is always solid. Embor is a huge threat. Like, look at my team. What switches into Flare Blitz? Hydreigon, how much does it take? <laughs> a shit ton. Uh, Snorlax, how much does it take? A shit ton. Okay, point made. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, um, we got Infernape, Hydreigon, Clefable, Bronzong, Zapdos, um, Superior, Dawn Fan, Snorlax, Pukamaku, Mega Bayonet. And the Vivillon, and we've chose to bring our Infernape as you can see on screen, which is a pretty cool set in my opinion. Uh, you know, often Z Move users are are burdened burdened with this idea that they must carry a Z Move, but sometimes other other items are better. Like uh, in week one, we had what Sash Nape. Week two, we had Life Orb Nape. Now we have Salic Berry Nape. Are we ever gonna bring the Z Ape? Uh, Z Infernate or Z Hydreigon? It doesn't look like. Anyways, we got the Salic Berry. Swords Dance, Fire Punch, Mock Punch, and Close Combat. And the Salic Berry doubles our speed. So if our speed is doubled, first of all, we're speed creeping a Yen Mega. Uh, that thing's a threat, don't sleep on it. Um, but when our speed is doubled, or not doubled, but basically we have a choice scarf. We can um, speed potentially, or excuse me, we outspeed a speed boosted Yen Mega. We outspeed uh, literally everything else on his team potentially, including a uh, Dragon Dance Mega Altaria, um, although we cannot damage it. And, and, um, choice scarf Jolteon and Sneasel. I think that's it. And I think with the speed investment, we also outpace a autonomized Celestilla. I think. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, back up here to the set. We have Swords Dance, Fire Punch, Mock Punch, and Close Combat. You may be asking, why can you not touch the Mega Altaria? Why can you not touch the Jolteon for super effective damage? Well, I don't need to. I don't need to touch them for super effective damage. I have five other mons that can do something like that. So Swords Dance, Fire Punch, Mock Punch, Close Combat. I'm not going to click Swords Dance if he still has his Mega Altaria around. That's that silly of me. Now if he has something like Necrozma or Milotic around, I might click Swords Dance so that I can uh, weaken them a little bit with... Um, since they don't resist both my stab... I can actually weaken them for something else to pick them off with. So that's the idea behind that. And I'm running Fire Punch and Mock Punch, which is boosted by Iron Fist. So give me a little bit more um, boosting than it already was. Um, this HP and defense investment looks a little strange, but it allows me to take hits well from Serena. It allows me to take Scalds better. Um, my HP investment does from my Lodic. I think it's actually a three hit KO with 56 HP and VVs without a uh, minus Pedef nature. Um, it takes a... Uh, Sucker Punch from Embor, um, super well, like, it, it bounces off, and then, uh, I guess that's just about it, basically everything else does a lot of damage still, um, I don't, 
I'm not too hit KO'd by Celestella Heavy Slam, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's just about it. So this is a, uh, this is a risk. Like I could click Swords Dance and be bopped by something, um, and not even get my Salic Berry boost. But I have a feeling that this HP and defense investment will put me just in range of, uh, of my Salic Berry being eight by this hungry, hungry ape. Uh, bars hashtag bars next up we got renegade or hydreigon which is a life orb variant with levitate dark pulse dragon pulse flash cannon and roost a life orb modest max special attack hydreigon with three attacks to just bop through his team and roost so that i can beat that uh life orb uh, recoil uh yeah i don't want to die i don't want to die to my own my own attacks so uh definitely packing that roost to negate life orb and then three attacks that just runs through his team he doesn't have like the best switch-ins, maybe like a Spadef Celestilla, but even then, uh, this thing really puts in the work. Um, just seeing that 252 with the plus sign beside it, so scary <laughs> when it's in a attack or special attack uh, spot. You just know the power is there, especially with the life orb. Oh my lord, and base like a 125 special attack. Oh lord. Um, so Dark Pulse hits Celestilla, Milotic. Jolteon, Serena, Necrozma, Drampa, and Sandslash. Dragon Pulse hits Milotic, Jolteon, Serena, Embor, Sneasel, Necrozma, Yan Mega, Drampa, and Sandslash. And Flash Cannon hits Mega Altaria and Sneasel. And like I said, Roost just uh, gives me my longevity. So basically the idea behind this was to just click Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse, whatever. And then uh, eventually Mega Altaria, I will be able to, um, through Calx, determine it's uh, a rough estimate of its EV spread. And then I can calculate the time that I can finally click Flash Cannon. And uh, I'm speed creeping Mega Altaria, my Lodic. Uh, I think that's the only base eight. I'm, I'm speed creeping base eighties, but uh, yeah, that's it for Renegade, our boy. And we'll move on to Clefable, which is actually not nicknamed. Uh, you're supposed to be Mr. Kaplan, and you're supposed to be a girl. Don't you know your gender? Anyways, we got Moonblast Wish Protect, um, unaware with leftovers, and I don't have a fourth move, and I don't have an EV spread. This means that. <laughs> Um, I lost my team or something and or um, actually I think like my first four battles I did lose my team and I went back and watched the replays and got as much information as possible and um, yeah I think, I think that's how I got uh, the rest of my information but yeah Moonblast, Wish Protect and probably let me see okay Bronzong's got Stealth Rock so this thing don't have Stealth Rock um Maybe a coverage move. I'm not sure what it would be. But yeah, this thing checks Mega Altaria to an extent, um, Sneasel to an extent, and can bop them both back with Moonblast. Unaware also checks like Calm Mind Necrozma, which is actually pretty spooky. And this is kind of a check to Yen Mega um, to an extent. Also Drampa, which I didn't mention before. It takes a fuck ton from Embor though. So that's pretty scary, actually. Um, yeah, don't like I said, don't remember Clefable, and it doesn't uh, doesn't seem like I have much information on it anyway, and it perhaps doesn't do too well in the battle. So we'll see. Next up, we got Bronzong, which is Stealth Rock Gyro Ball with a Cobra Berry, and I don't have any other moves or any EVs on this either. So looking a little bit, uh, looking a bit forgetful here, <laughs> and. Um, I just don't have any information on my own bronze on set, so a bit unfortunate, but sometimes uh, sometimes life gets in the way of Pokemon, and we can't do uh, our best to, um, I don't even know what to call it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just, this doesn't feel like a regular Sam Crow video, so I feel less knowledgeable, I feel... Uh, forgetful i feel uneducated on pokemon but uh yeah it's, just, it's part of the game also another no evs monster here so ah 
leftovers, pressure, toxic thunderbolt, U-turn, and roost. Um, I have U-turn over bolt switch because solely because of sand slash, and I didn't even think it would come. And it, and, oh, spoiler alert, it does not come. So much rather would have liked to have a bolt switch here, and uh, it's really nice like that I don't need anything to hit his dragon type with because I have two of the best checks to Mega Altaria in the game. I don't even know if it'll come, to be completely honest, so that I can just uh, Toxic everything on his team, Thunderbolt everything on his team, and then U-Turn versus everything on his team. Uh, Serena, Sneasel, Celestilla, like U-Turn, uh, just getting U-Turn chip on any of those mons is solid. Thunderbolt chip on... Uh, Literally, Thunderbolt, super effective chip on Celestilla is nice. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so next up, we got a Figgy Berry, um, Snorlax with Gluttony, Curse, Recycle, and Facade with a very, very, very specific EV spread that I do not remember uh, anything about. But uh, I could probably guess um, that it takes hits well on both sides of the spectrum from Celestilla and Mega Altaria. Um... I can probably bet that Jolteon and Serena and Sneasel don't do much to it with, you know, their stabs and probably loses 1v1 or Snorlax probably can 1v1 some things like, um, Calm Mind Necrozma, um, Cotton Guard, Mega Altaria. This is a maybe now. This is a maybe. Don't take my word for it. And I actually don't have a uh, fourth move, but it looks like I need something to hit Celestilla with. So Thunder Punch looks solid. And I do have Facade over um, Return or Frustration or anything like that because he has a Milotic, which could potentially burn me. And since I'm not a Rest Talk set, um, I would like to get the damage boost from Facade, which is pretty solid. Outside of that, there's not too much to say about the team. Um, pretty poor representation but uh it, it was a really solid team i was really happy with my prep and we'll hop into the battle now All right, so here we are in the replay, and my opponent chooses to bring the Necrozma, Mega Altaria, Embor, Sneasel, Yen Mega, and Serena. Surprisingly, no Celestilla, but I can understand why it didn't have the best matchup, but still pretty solid uh, to come in and just do massive damage to all mons, throw off Leech Seeds, and be very annoying and whatnot, so very surprised to not see it, as I do uh, consider it you know, the be one of the best Pokemon in the Draft League format now. Um, even with a bad matchup, it, it's still so good. But, uh, yeah, some notable mods he did bring was, uh, the huge threat in Mega, Embor, some, you know, some low tier threats. And then Mega Altaria and Necrozma being some more of the high tier threats. And, uh, Sneasel and Serena being some more, like, mid tier threats. But, uh, yeah, really, really solid team. Um, I do think, um, I have a pretty solid matchup this match, so... We'll go ahead and hop into the replay and see what happens here. Um, his only uh, his only stealth rocker is actually Necrozma. So, like, I can just lead, like, Clefable and have a pretty good matchup versus basically everything that's not, like, Choice Banded Embor or, like, a Life Orb Embor or something like that um, because that's problematic. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I do lead with Clefable here and... My opponent actually leads with the Mega Altaria, so I can just click Moonblast here pretty freely. Um, potentially set up my own rocks if I was a uh, Stealth Rock um, Clefable. I just go for the Moonblast though. I get a special attack drop. I don't think it really matters. Um, I go hard into my Hydreigon as my opponent goes for the Calm Mind. Now I can just go for the Life Orb Dark Pulse. And it does way too much for my opponent to just roost off. Um, he does try to uh, at least gauge the damage and sees that it's just way too much. So, And I do reveal Life Orb. And he goes hard into his Mega Altaria, as I do over half, putting him guaranteed in uh, Flash Cannon range. And I'm able to eliminate a huge threat by turn 5. And I have a pretty solid check to Sneasel as he tries to revenge kill me. Clefable just comes in and takes nothing from um, 
the knockoff and is I'm, I'm gonna double out here predicting the the Krosma and I do get that right um, my opponent actually goes into the inboard here as uh, I'm gonna predict him to want to uh, not take a dark pulse and his only resist being inboard I did predict him to go into it and I go for the dragon pulse he could have also went sneasel and dragon pulse was still the better play um, dragon pulse was the better play overall because he has uh, three dark resist and only um, and no dragon resist at this point, so that's pretty hot. Um, but yeah, so now he's in range of another um, dragon pulse. I knew he was going to sucker punch there, but I couldn't force myself to roost in case he went for the um, superpower. And he actually brings in a Sneasel once again to revenge kill me. I don't agree with that because it's just not... Like I have Clefable, which is the better... Like I always have a check to his mod. Um, so I figured Yen Mega would be the better revenge killer. Like if he's got protect and speed boost and whatnot. And yeah, so there's that. Um, he goes back into, so he's got the Necrozma in and gets the Calm Mind up once again. That's what I meant to say. Not he goes back into Necrozma. I meant to say he goes back for the Calm Mind. I uh, just hard switch into Clef here. I'm unaware. Stored power, um, does a whole lot still. But I am able to just throw up a wish, and it just it's going to do a lot more than he's going to be doing to me. Um, especially with uh, toxic damage starting to rack up. Which is pretty high. So, um, now <laughs> it's the, he's doing over half the stored power. So it's a little bit, you know, more... What's the word? It's more unfortunate for me, less fortunate for me. Um, but the toxic damage still racking up and whatnot he still can only do 54 percent to me so i still guaranteed live and get another wish back and i'm gonna win the exchange he, he just can't beat my clefable at that point um and here i go into my bronze on as he gets uh serena in i set up my stealth rock for no reason basically just to uh force him to spin so i can get in like zap does or infernate for free and now he's forced right back in, into his necrozma as i throw off another toxic and um, I'm going to eventually, he's going to eventually run out of Moonlights, and then he's going to die to the toxic damage. My opponent makes a solid double out into Yen Mega here as I go into Clefable. And he's going to actually be able to, uh, hidden, uh, hidden power, whatever his hidden power was, in, probably hidden power rock, into uh, Air Slash actually knocks out my Clefable. But I have a solid switch in being Zapdos. Just go for the Thunderbolt here. And I'm going to hard switch back out into my Bronze Lung. I don't need it anymore. And I am Culberberry. So had he went for Icicle Crash into Knockoff there, I lived and would have been able to knock him out. But he doesn't. He makes the good play. Here he goes into uh, Necrozma as I set up my Swords Dance. And I'm just going to go for the um, Fire Punch here. I should have went for another uh, Swords Dance uh, because I knew he was stored power, but I didn't take it into consideration. I could have went for another Swords Dance there and guaranteed put... Uh, you know it in range of fire punch put this thing in range of mock punch as well as uh, sneasel and serena drop into the fire punch and mock punch respectively and infernape could have just swept there but i made a misplay and i uh i just uh swords dance once not taking into consideration that he was um stored power and not uh stored power and not psychic but uh at this point, I kind of feel like Zapdos has the game in the bag, but um, I don't know if it's... Like, I can just roost here. Yen Mega can't do much to me. I can just roost on Yen Mega as well. Um, I'm actually going to click... Um, I get the knockout. Uh, did I get the knockout with U-Turn on Sneasel or not? I'm not real sure, but Zapdos is basically the MVP of the match, um, along with, like, Hydreigon and Clefable, just throwing out massive damage, Infernape. Like, all... I feel like all the Mons did exactly what they were supposed to do in this match and they all showed off like why they're so solid as individuals and they make a pretty solid team um but yeah i get my salic berry boost because of the crit play rough which is pretty cool and um infernape's just gonna be able to clean the matchup but yeah that's gonna be it let me know what you thought about the prep and whatnot on both sides of the battle leave a like comment subscribe all the good stuff and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching